Hey guys, what's going on? It's Don here from Nova Spirit Tech, and today's video is going to be a little bit different. If you guys are long term viewers, you probably know I do a little bit of raw videos back in the day where it's minimal editing and just I'm putting something out there. Now, in this video, I'm going to show you guys how I set up my Linux computer, and what we're going to be using today is Pop OS with GNOME desktop environment. So, let's get started. <laughs> I just did a fresh install of my Lenovo laptop. Since I've been using my Chromebook a lot more, I actually have not touched this computer. So here's a perfect opportunity to actually format and start from scratch and show you guys what I do. Also, if you guys are interested, please let me know if you guys want to see other desktop setups because I've done uh, XFCE, i3, like a bunch of other desktops I've configured to the way I need it and might be your style as well. But let's get started. If you guys are not familiar with GNOME, this is actually the default desktop for Ubuntu and also for Pop! OS. Now, when you press the activities icon, it'll pop up this, you could say a dashboard type area. Then clicking on the little dots on the bottom left, you could see that this is where all your programs are stored. Now, I find this to be a little bit slow because the graphical things make me have to look all over the place to look for my icon, which I find, I don't know. Some people like it. Uh, for me, I'm not a big fan of it because I think it takes a little bit too many steps just to get to my programs, even though I could type but for my desktop usage, I'm not really a big fan of. Now, I use a lot of Windows-based computers at work and everywhere else, so I'm very used to the desktop and I'm very used to the start menu being on the bottom. So that's my style. And since I'm so familiar with that type of style, I'd rather keep it that way. I mean, I've done panels up on top. Raspberry Pi is up on top and I leave it, but for a real work environment, I tend to like it on the bottom. All right, uh, to start off with everything, uh, the first thing I would like to do is sudo app update because I want to make sure that all my packages are update before I grab stuff. And here I would actually do sudo app upgrade and grab the 97 packages that are there. Hopefully my Wi-Fi won't fail me and it should be pretty quick. If not, I'll just jump to that point. Now that that is all done, I do have to reboot the computer because I actually added a new kernel. So I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to reboot it from here. So let's do a restart. Okay, and we are back now. So let's get changing or configuring. I'm going to open a Firefox browser just because I will need that in a second. But uh, let's pull up a terminal and install some applications. So first thing I usually install is sudo app install genome tweak is it three on tweak tools yeah there you go once i get that that will unlock this tweaks icon and this will allow you to configure most of your desktop through here now the next thing we do have to install might not have to but let's see if we do genome extensions is a website but to install the extensions through the website i might have to install a little plugin which i will check in a second i could close this out close this out and let's go to shell extensions and click here to install browser extension continue to install any day now there you go okay so now that that is installed i might have to reboot the browser but Let's install user themes. User themes allow us to make the look change a little bit different. So I'm gonna hit on, install, and if everything went fine, you should see user themes down here. Or maybe I have to restart this as well. All right, it's here, see? It's blank, but it's there. So let me close this and open that up again. Yep, there you go. User themes is installed. So I could actually change it to whatever, whatever I want. Now, one of the biggest change we're gonna do, the first extension that we're gonna install is called dash to panel. And this one will actually move the top panel to like a start menu. So I'm gonna turn that on. Install. And now you notice that there's a panel on the bottom. This will still show the applications, which I'm not still a big fan of. So 
in order to change that around, the next thing I'm going to install is actually called Arc Menu. Now, Arc Menu, there's actually a few menus like this, but I, I've used a couple of them and I like Arc Menu the most. So I'm going to install Arc Menu. And it's an error because I actually need to install these guys. You see that? It's actually on the. It's actually written out there. So let's install that and give this a try again. So I refresh the website and go back to extensions. Let's see if Arc Menu is here. Now I might have to restart this again. Tweak, extension, Arc Menu. Still not allowing me to install right now. Let me turn it off. I installed it. Turn it back on. Install. Ah, there you go. Arc menu is back. So it looks similar to start menu and you also get that search feature. So now that that is in place, we could start removing a few of these icons. I don't need this show application icon. So you could actually edit that out. Let's see, I think it's, I gotta go here, dash to panel settings. And on the style, it's actually behavior show application icon. Turn that off and there you go, it's gone. Now I only have the arc menu. So now it's starting to look very similar to what I wanted. Uh, there's a few more things that I do have to install. Now because I have the arc menu, you're gonna notice that I don't have the notification icons here anymore. So. Uh, next thing I would have to install is actually called Top Icons Plus. This one works the best with this. There's actually a regular standard version, but the Plus version works. So I'm going to install that as well. And you don't notice a change, but when you have like a software, it will actually pop up over here like a notification, like uh, um, Steam. If you install Steam, it will show up there now. Okay. Once we're done with that, now we could configure some look. Now I don't really like the brown look in this right now. So what I'm going to end up doing right here is actually go to genome looks, search for that real quick. Close this out and come on any day now. I don't know why it's, it feels like it's running so slow. All right, go to, over to genome looks or gnome looks. I don't know why I say genome. Um, head over to a top and this is a theme I'm currently in love with. <laughs> uh, what is it? Tellerkin? Tellerkin? So yeah, I like this theme a lot. So I'm going to install this theme. So I'm going to show you guys how to install it manually. Buttons right. Download. Save. Okay. So once that's finished downloading, I'm going to open up my file manager, go over to downloads, open this with archive manager, kind of just drop it here for now. So I have a folder. Now I'm going to right click and copy this for now. Go back to home, hold control H. So I see all the hidden files, make a new folder period themes, go in there and paste that folder in there. So if I go back to tweak, genome tweak tools and go to appearance, I now have this guy here. So now I could change my application to also look like that. And this is a much cleaner look. You see this, the blue, the blue, I like this look. You could always use the orange look if you want the darker look, but I like this look right now. I'm gonna also head over to wallpaper flare which is another website I use to grab um, wallpapers. And I'm currently in love with this wallpaper, so I'm gonna grab this as well. <laughs> it's a pretty nice wallpaper. And you just find the resolution that you need. So mine is a 1080 screen right now, so I'm just gonna go to 1920 by 1080, head to that image, save image as, or you can just set it as background, but I'd like to save it into our pictures. Save head back over to my pictures folder over here and I could actually set as wallpaper here. So now I got a pretty cool looking wallpaper. So I could close this out and that's 
a little bit almost it. Now here I had a little issue with the clock. I'm not a big fan of the clock being this dim. It works for lighter wallpapers, but for this dark wallpaper, it didn't work very well. So let's configure that real quick. I'm going to head over to themes and head over to that folder, go over to Genome, Gnome Shell and Nano the Gnome Shell CSS. Now I'm going to look for a clock. And you see how clock display is this font color? I'm gonna change it over to a darker brown. 202020 is a good one. Hit OK. And when I refresh this next time, it would actually change the color. So let me exit that. I'm gonna leave that for now. Another thing that I would set up over here is about the arc menu. I would change it so when I hit the super key, the left super key, it would actually pull up the menu instead of pulling up the entire application. You can also change the appearance if you don't like that icon. You could also change the icon uh, look. Uh, where is it? Somewhere here. Miscellaneous, about, shortcuts. I know it's somewhere here. It's not shortcuts. It's got to be appearance. I'll customize arc menu. And large, doo -doo -doo -doo. nope, not here. Menu button appearance. It's right in my face. Arc menu, I'll just use system icon. Yeah, system icon looks pretty good, the four squares. And yeah, that's basically it as far as like what I would do to change it. Now, as a matter of fact, you could now have a pretty good looking desktop. Mind you, the clock will change as soon as I refresh the... Actually, maybe see if I could do it now. Tweaks. I'm gonna go over to appearance, switch this to pop dark, and then switch it back to this one. And there you go. It's a darker color. It's the same color as the other font colors. And that is it. That's basically how I would edit my desktop in a more speedy manner, but it's basically it. I might tweak a little fonts here and there, but mostly that's how I set up my entire desktop. Now, if you guys like this video, please hit that like button. If you wanna see more videos where I'm configuring desktops for different uh, desktop environments like XFCE or i3 or any other desktop please let me know in the comments below if you want to see more of this now if you guys are new to this channel consider subscribing also hitting that bell notification icon so you know when the next video is going to be out and as i say my nerd cave hack till it hurts